guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I thought we could look at and react to some mouse adverts on selling sites. Can you see Bramble in the background on her wheel? So as you might know, I have been looking to get some new mice to add to my group and I have actually found two mice that should be coming home with me hopefully very soon, but that has meant I've spent a lot of hours on selling sites, scrolling through questionable adverts and I thought if I'm going to do that, I might as well bring you guys along with me too. So I filmed a similar video to this one looking at rat adverts on selling sites. I think it was either last year or the year before, I'm not sure because everything is just merging into the same year at this point, but I filmed a similar video looking at rat adverts and I thought it was only fair to look at some mouse adverts, so I'm joined with my co-host Fleet and we're going to take a look at some of the adverts on selling sites like Gumtree, Preloved and Pets for Homes. Before we start, I do want to preface this video by saying that not all adverts on selling sites are going to be bad. They're not all inherently bad just because they're on a selling site. Some rescues do use selling sites to post their animals and you can find animals on selling sites that do really need the help. So I think selling sites like Gumtree and things like that, Craigslist, can be really good if you're looking specifically to rescue an animal or find an animal. I got my two rats from a rescue that was on a selling site and that was a perfectly legit rescue. So it does take a little bit of digging to find what you're looking for. You kind of have to navigate through all of the backyard breeders or home breeders that are just breeding for the sake of it. It can be really hard to navigate these things if you don't quite know what you're looking for. And personally, I find looking at mouse adverts quite tricky compared to rat ones because there's not as much information and it can be really hard to find who's a legit breeder, who's not legit and you're also at the same time looking at adverts of mice living in not the best conditions. It is important to know that not every person that is posting on these websites is a bad person. Sometimes rat club breeders, mouse club breeders do use these websites to post their available baby rats or mice. Just because they're using these websites does not mean they're a backyard breeder or a bad breeder. Sometimes you will find rat club breeders or mouse club breeders using these websites, but you do have to be really careful. And I would just recommend going straight to the source, go to their Facebook pages, ask for advice from other mouse owners, I wouldn't necessarily trust places like Pets for Homes, Gumtree, Craigslist because you don't always have the full picture or all of the information and you can't see what other people have experienced with them, you can't see reviews or anything like that so it is really easy for someone to hide behind these websites and not really give you all of the information you need to decide is this going to be a good person to get my mice from or my rats from and you have to be really careful. On the flip side though, just because someone is a registered National Mouse Club breeder doesn't always mean they're the best breeder or a good breeder and they might not always align with your standards of care or your ethics. Just because they're on that list don't automatically think, oh because they've managed to get on the list they're going to be the best breeder and have the best care standards because that's not always the case. I have seen a few breeders on the list that I personally don't really align with their ethics and I wouldn't personally want to get mice from them so you do have to be careful even with registered breeders to ask questions and make sure that you are comfortable and happy getting mice from them and the way that they care for their mice. So yeah, just to quickly sum things up before we dive in and look at some of the adverts. I do think selling sites are a good place to find rescues or mice that perhaps aren't in the best living conditions if you feel like that's something you can personally handle. Sometimes it can be a good place to find breeders. I would just be careful because most of the time these people are anonymous. They don't have full names, it's just usernames or first names. They don't have links to websites, Facebook pages. The descriptions can be very, very vague and you can't find too much information about the mice they're breeding, what they're breeding for, things like that. So I would just be really careful because these are mostly anonymous accounts and you can't see reviews, people's experiences. I will just go directly to the source for breeders if you are thinking of going to a breeder. So let's start with Gumtree and let's just search for mice. I never know whether to search for mouse or mice in case different things come up, but let's just look at mice. Okay, so the first one that pops up is one I'm actually familiar with. This is a breeder called Norfolk Mice and they are National Mouse Club registered. There's not too much information in the description about what mice they've got available. It is quite vague, which Personally, I think it's good because it does require you to reach out, start a conversation, get to know each other before you can see immediately what's available, but they do have plenty of pictures of their varieties and what they could possibly have available, so I think that's good. And they are mostly diverting traffic from Gumtree to their Facebook page where you can see more information, more pictures, possibly setups of the mice 
and also reviews and experiences from other owners, which I think is good. I think this is a good example of a breeder using selling sites to divert traffic of people that might be interested in owning mice and learning how to own mice over to their Facebook page where they can get so much more information than you can get from a selling site. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I feel like we're off to a good start with a breeder that's using a selling site, but doing it in the right way. Okay, so the next one on Gumtree just says five pound fancy mice for sale. And there is a few pictures. The description is very, very vague. And I can't really see the mice properly to gauge what kind of condition they're in or what personalities they've got. Personally, I think pictures make all the difference. And I really like when people take individual pictures of their mice. This is just a collection of mice kind of far away in the background. So I have no idea really what kind of condition they're in. I can't really see them very well. So the description is really vague. It's four lines. It says six weeks old, ready for the forever homes, eating and drinking well. It doesn't really tell me anything about their health, their temperament, how they are with people, if they've got any health issues. Not that you'd admit that in a description, but that's also very vague. A variety of patterns and colours available. They make great pets for all ages and small spaces. I mean, I wouldn't really recommend them for very, very small kids just because they are so fragile they can easily be injured and they're also very quick sometimes so I wouldn't really recommend them as a pet for kids, at least not very small kids. And small spaces, I mean, I wouldn't really agree they don't take up that much space. If you're not taking up much space with your mice, you're probably not giving them the best quality of life possible so I wouldn't agree with that. So this is what I mean by a really vague advert. You can't really get too much about how they care for the mice, how they breed the mice, what kind of things they're breeding for, if they're breeding for health, temperament, if they're just ignoring all of these things and just throwing mice together to make cute baby mice. You've got no information about this at all. There's not even really a line to say that. Message me for more information if you want more pictures, information. It's just very vague and this doesn't really make me want to buy their mice, to be honest. The next advert that piqued my interest was this one because it says 26 mixed Siamese mice and I just saw them all in the picture together and it made me want to click and see what was going on because there's no bedding, there's quite a lot of poop, they might have been in this just for the pictures but I was really interested to see if they bred them, if they were rescues, I wasn't too sure and I've not really got that information in the description, I'm not too sure if they bred them. Although it does say 26 Siamese mice, they're a mix of boys and girls of all ages. So they've got males and females mixed together all in one cage, I think. So some of these mice are probably definitely pregnant and they're breeding and you're probably going to purchase or adopt mice that are already pregnant and are gonna give you baby mice. So this worries me quite a lot because this is quite a lot to take on if you're purchasing a really cute Siamese mouse and then you end up with like 20 baby mice at the same time. This worries me. I'm really not sure how much they're charging per mice. It just says 25 pounds or nearest offer. So is that for all of the mice? Or one of the mice? Surely not for just one mouse. That seems excessive. So yeah, if you see an advert like this and you're tempted to get yourself a really cute Siamese mouse, just be careful. The males and the females are mixed together. They are gonna be pregnant. At least some of them are gonna be pregnant and that can be a lot to take on and you're also going to be supporting someone that is back to back breeding males, females, keeping them all together which is not ideal so I would avoid this kind of advert just to save yourself the stress of having a pregnant mouse that could possibly be young, it says it's a mix of ages and I do see some baby mice in there that are at risk of being bred with by the male so a little bit of a nightmare, I would tend to avoid this kind of advert for your sake and also for not giving this person profit. Okay, so the next advert is two male mice for 10 pounds. Here we have two brother mice living together in harmony. They're not that old, so they do jump, but don't bite or show aggression. They would make perfect pets. They play together, eat together. They are the best of friends. They've never met a female, so they don't get territorial. So the presence of female mice doesn't have much to do with it. You can have two male mice from the same litter and have no other mice in the house and they can still fight and kill each other regardless of whether there's female mice affecting their hormones or making them territorial. If male mice are gonna fight, they're gonna fight whether there's other mice or not. So, so I wouldn't be using whether there's female mice or not as a marker of them not being territorial. I imagine it's probably to do with their age. Being litter mates does help 
but I think she said they're relatively young, so that could be playing a factor into the fact that they've not fought yet or not had any issues. These could crop up at any moment, they could fight, injure, possibly even kill each other at any stage as they get older, so I would be worried about purchasing them together, hoping they would live together forever, perfectly fine with no fighting because they could fight at any stage and need separating in two separate cages. But I do think this person has good intentions of wanting these mice to go to a good home. I just hope that home is prepared to separate them if they have to. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. So here we've got two female fancy mice for sale. £30. I imagine that £30 is to include the Happy Trail cage, which is not decent for any animal to live in. It's bordering on barbaric to house a hamster, a mouse, a gerbil, anything in this. There is just no floor space at all. The whole ground level is taken up by a wheel, which is probably not big enough, and a little climbing frame thing. Please, if you're watching this, however you've come across this video, don't use these cages for anything. You can use the top part as a carry cage if you want to, but just don't house mice, hamsters, anything in these cages. They're pretty much the worst cage on the market for anything. The description says I have two beautiful fancy mice that are devastated to give up due to not having enough time for them. I'm glad they're recognising that these mice need much more time, possibly much better conditions. I'm glad that people are able to recognise these mice aren't getting enough time or appropriate care that they are making these kind of adverts. I think that's a great first step. I just hope they end up in the right hands without the cage because hopefully someone finds this advert that knows a bit more about mice and knows not to use this cage with them. I would hate for these mice to be picked up by someone that doesn't know any better and possibly just keeps them in the same conditions in a tiny cage. This one says free one and a half month old baby fancy mouse for sale. One and a half month old, free to a good home. He's very tame to handle, very friendly, but doesn't get along with other mice. So even at five weeks old, he seems to be fighting with other mice or his siblings. The only thing I have with this is not so much in terms of you coming across this advert. It's more so if you have to make a similar advert I would be careful advertising your mice or other pets for free just because they can end up in the wrong hands in terms of snake food or someone that wants to use them for purposes other than a pet. I would be very, very careful even if you're only selling them for £5, £10. Always put a price tag on your pets just to be careful in case they could go to someone that's not going to have the best intentions with them because people search for free snake, not snakes, free mice, free rats and take advantage of that. So I would be careful advertising any pet on a selling site for free just in case they end up in the wrong hands. I would hate for that to happen. He is super cute and I hope he goes to a good home that's going to care for him properly and give him the best care and not use him for anything else other than just a good home. This advert seemed really interesting and made me click on it. It says, experienced does available, five pounds each. Five breeding females available, brown and white, very sweet temperaments, have produced pups in the past that are red, white, brown and white, lilac and white, black and white, and chocolate and white. So to me, this does ring alarm bells just because I think they're selling them presumably to people that want to start breeding mice. And if you do want to get into breeding mice, Buying random mice off selling sites is not the best way to go about this. You're not going to have the support of other breeders. You're not really going to know the health and the lines, um, the health and the temperament of their lines if you're buying them from someone random selling them on a selling site. They also say they're only selling them because they're cutting down on stock. And referring to mice as stock doesn't really sit well with me. This to me says they're either breeding as stock for a pet store or stock for feeder mice. The word stock just doesn't sit right with me, so that is another alarm bell that just makes me feel really icky about the whole thing. They're also not using correct terminology that a good reptile breeder would know and would be using. They're using words such as chocolate and white and red and white. A good reptile breeder would call this chocolate pied, red pied, using the correct terminology for those varieties. That is another alarm bell going off in my head that they're using that. To me, this could be a backyard breeder that's just getting rid of their stock and is just wanting to give them away and not wanting to kind of protect the breeding world of mice and making sure that 
whoever buys these is going to be a good responsible breeder with support they're just selling a stock to whoever is interested in breeding which is not the best way to go about this and I do worry these mice could end up in another backyard breeder's hands and the whole thing is just going to start all over again so so yeah that doesn't fill me with joy or comfort knowing these mice are going to go to someone that probably doesn't understand genetics of mice, health of mice, the lines of the mice they're breeding and then ultimately someone is going to buy these as pets and not have the best experience because these mice could have underlying health issues so on and so forth. So that is it for today's video and me reacting to mouse adverts. I hope you guys have enjoyed and learned a bit more about safely navigating these kind of websites if you're looking for mice, rats or other pets. Please remember all of the points I made at the start of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!